So Sunday, me and Emma are going on a walking tour around Belgrade. Here it is. So we're starting in the main square, and we've learned about the gate, haven't we? The Istanbul gate. Yeah, and now we're going to go and see some little streets that follow along the old city walls. The Bohemian area. same place that we showed you on our first day which is Cal the fortress I was about to say Calamegdon fortress but it's actually Belgrade fortress in Calamegdon Park did you enjoy your walking tour Emma? yeah I mean that pause said a lot didn't it? <laughs> look I don't need two and a half hours worth of walking tour history it's just not for me an hour and a half is sufficient in my opinion okay but a guy can speak great English and is very knowledgeable he's a history teacher so so, so, what you're saying, controversially, is that if you book yourself on a historical walking tour of Belgrade, you should want to do some walking and be interested in the history. Yeah, I would say there were basics that you needed. So the walking tour drops you off at the cathedral, and next to the cathedral, or opposite it, you get the idea of the four different areas of buildings there are in Belgrade. So, you have the oldest pub, which is 200 years old and then next to it a 19th century building and then that way you've got a 20th century building and finally a kind of Soviet kind of brutalist architecture next to it so all four different areas of architecture the pub being an Ottoman kind of building all next to each other okay so Emma's gone home after the walking tour however I am a man on a mission the other day we passed a shop that was going to be selling traditional Bosnian meat pies and quite frankly that sounds amazing. So I, I can't quite remember where it was. So I'm going to try and hunt it down. Have myself a meat pie. Aha! Here we go. The food story. So the Bosnian burek is not quite what I expected. I expected it to be like a pie on my subscription, but it's like a it's like a phyllo type of pastry, so let's go for it. It's like mince and a little phyllo pie. It's nice. Hmm. I was going to insert a little bit. It was like postcard time, but then I feel this may be shut. We're at the museum in Nikola Tesla, but they, we need to get a shifty on because they do a tour every hour on the hour and it's currently four minutes to. We just tried to go to the Nikola Tesla Museum, which is just around the corner from here, but we couldn't get in. So what happens is that on the hour, 60 people are allowed in and they are toured round and I think it lasts for an hour. And then the next group come in the hour afterwards. And we only got there at five too, so we just missed it, it was full. Uh, so we're going to try again in the next hour, but in the meantime we're having a little drink and waiting patiently. Yeah, I think it's really important to get there 15 minutes before. Also, they don't accept card and you can't pre-book. So get there 15 mm -hmm. minutes before, get ready to queue and get in that group of 60 people that are allowed in. And we can't film in there, so when we cut back to this, Emma will tell you if she thinks the Nikola Tesla Museum is worth 800 dinar or not. So we actually got so we got here 15 minutes before and this is the queue. There's way more than 60 people here. We'll see. I I've counted it two different numbers. I think we might make it. We might make Just it. Just at the end. Let's see. Um, so we didn't get in again. We missed out again. Uh, we uh, were the last two people in the queue again. And I'm not blaming anyone, but it was definitely an old some old people kind of cut in with their children ahead of us. Terrible. <laughs> 
So we're going to go and find a communi uh, communist uh, little bar. Um, you know, we're going to settle down and have a communist bar. We may come back, but Emma's not that up for coming back, are you? Nicola Tesla's dead to me now. That's twice he's denied me. He's not having a third go. He is actually dead as well. Um, Don't care. So we've settled down to have some lunch, drink, at this communist themed cafe. Let's have a look at this communist themed book. Oh. So we're going now to go on a cruise along the Danube, aren't we? That sounds fancier than I think it actually is, but we'll see. Well, we'll see what the boat's like and we'll see what the cruise is like and you'll see what it's like when we take video of it. <laughs> we are walking to the Danube cruise in Belgrade. <laughs> there are tickets. Yeah, so we met at the Kalamegdon Park and now the ladies are taking us to the cruise. So fingers crossed it's the dress. The iPad that we use to edit these videos is really old, which means we can't make videos really much over 10 minutes. So I hope you've enjoyed this extra little bonus video of Belgrade part two. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll leave you with some shots of the Danube at sunset. Thank you.